Hello everybody, I hope that you are all doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going through Bitcoin, a few altcoins and just giving a lot of information out here. This is going to be a brilliant video, uh, very educational I hope, so I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this and you'll, you'll understand how I'm trading Bitcoin going forwards and uh, yeah, let's, let's go into this, a lot of information for you all, so um, hope that you thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy this. Okay, so Bitcoin, okay, let's start off with the rise that we saw yesterday, okay, so I want to come down here on the four hour chart. And let's just first acknowledge the rise that we saw on the 26th of June. This was my birthday. Um, so it made me extremely happy to wake up to uh, that rise in Bitcoin, obviously, uh, overnight going up about 15%. Very, very nice birthday present, I must admit. Um, but you can see that we got extremely parabolic at this point. You can see, obviously... Um, on the uptrends that we've been seeing, you can see there's uptrend pullback, 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 you know, uptrending pullbacks, 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 red candle, you know, you can see the red candles in the middle. And here we literally go pretty parabolic at this point. You, you can just see this is uh, literally 048, so, you know, 24 hours of straight upwards movement. OK, and it's not just that. It's not just that, but you ran right into monthly resistance. OK, so monthly resistance on the golden pocket. And um, being brutally honest, this for me was the biggest resistance on the chart. Not just because obviously I think the golden pocket always is a big resistance, but it's just that it's the monthly resistance and golden pocket. And you break through this and the resistance was really, really small. I, I really believe that when we take golden pocket, you have one more level left at, at 786 slash the top here. But you look at the monthly here. So you look at this monthly. It was the last monthly resistance on the chart. OK, so it was literally the last monthly. And obviously here over on BitMEX, last monthly. So it was such an important level, such a such an important level right there. Uh, and it's just there in the golden pocket. You know, um, you can just see here on, on this is over on Binance, literally the 6.5 to the tick. Uh, that's where you got rejected. So it was a crazy big resistance. And obviously, I did tweet this out yesterday saying, you know, you're at that 6.5 resistance, and that was obviously in the time right there at 13.8k. You know, you're on that resistance point right now. Just be careful uh, because this is kind of a, an extremely big resistance point, okay? And I will tell you now, I'll, I'll be brutally honest and really transparent. I did not short the top up here, okay? I did not short the top, okay? And now I'm going to explain uh, educationally why I did not short the top up here, okay? Because throughout this whole rise, throughout this whole rise, we had actually been moving up, consolidating under resistance, breaking through resistances, okay? And I was very much aware we were on the biggest, <laughs> a really, really massive resistance. But while we were consolidating like this under resistance, um, I did not feel comfortable entering a short in this, in this position, okay? Obviously, in hindsight now, I can say, oh, I should have took the short, you know, very easy in hindsight, isn't it? But, um, you know, at this po po moment in time, you were consolidating under resistance and there were no sell orders coming in at this point. I was watching the order book and the uh, literally the sell orders came like, bam, like this. There was no build up or sell walls. OK, it was literally just a flush break to the downside with a lot of market shorts opening. OK, or, you know, a lot of people taking profit, etc. All in one go. OK, so at this point, the consolidation there was was not necessarily bearish. It was the flush market shorts that came. So I did not short the top up here, but like I really, really, really always stress, you need to take profits or at least have that stop loss moving up, okay? Because when you are on such a massive resistance point, um, you know, you always have to acknowledge that a pullback is 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 very likely, okay? Okay, you are obviously consolidating under resistance bullishly, but you just have to always have that stop loss trailing um, because otherwise you see something like that and, it, you know, it can, it can wipe out all your gains. So this is why taking profits is so important and this is why I preach it. Take profits or at least have your trading stop loss, okay? If you had at least had your stop loss trailed under the lows, well, at least you would have got stopped out of one of these two areas depending on how aggressive your stops were here or here, okay? And now let's say the, the obviously this line here is the uh, 618. This is the 65. You can see here you broke through the 618. You back tested. You obviously hit the monthly, got rejected. You back tested the 618, held it as support and you move up. OK, so I closed the majority, the real, real big longs that I had at that monthly. OK, so at that monthly was when I closed my big longs and I was explaining this into my um, champions group. But I closed the majority of my longs at this monthly. OK, and then I added back into a separate long. OK, when we flipped the 618. OK, and then we obviously consolidated under resistance and I got stopped out as we obviously came back down here. OK, so for me, I'm like extremely happy with how that played out. And the short that you wanted to look for was you 
this is the key okay so this is just educational i don't want to like please don't take this as bragging but you know you look here okay you you do not lose a resistance sr flip during the whole move up okay and this is the first time okay that you're obviously you make a new high and instead of back testing this and holding it you break through that was a really 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 big red sign really big red sign okay that was the first time we've seen a red sign like this okay you break through resistances you do not hold any of this as support you break straight through it then guess what look where we came up to on the retest the 618 that was the short opportunity right there that was it right there on that retest okay and that's obviously the 618 the first time that you break through something really bearishly you come back up and you retest that then that's obviously a good short opportunity like this is it like the thing this for me <laughs> although it was the top um was not one that i would look to take okay because well, I didn't take it. But, you know, when you retest that 618, the opportunity and the probabilities are a lot more in your favor at that point for that, that short. OK, so I just wanted to explain that of what happened yesterday before I go over what's happening right now. And we're obviously still moving down. OK, so it's just that's why, <laughs> because as I said earlier, a lot of people wouldn't have understood why you got rejected at this point. A lot of people will be like, why have we got rejected at here? You know. And I just want to explain the, that's the reason why we got rejected. Literally, that is the reason why the 6.5 Fibonacci. OK, and over on BitMEX, literally that monthly. OK, literally that monthly level, like so, so, so important. And uh, yeah, I hope I hope that's helped you out that explanation. Uh, truly, I do. OK, and um, leading on of why we got rejected. Now, let's go over what we can see on this chart right now. OK, so when we come over to this chart right now, we can see some real key levels. OK, so uh, explained this. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, that was just a tweet I had. So, yeah, now we can acknowledge. OK, now we can acknowledge that we have now got the data and we've seen the rejection. We have to look at it like this, in my opinion, a one, two, three. This is an ABC running flat five. OK, so one, two, three, ABC running flat here. And obviously you can see the difference. Wave two, deep retracement, heavy retracement. OK, four is opposite. OK, the rule of alternation. This is obviously a very light retracement. So this is a perfect wave count, in my opinion, where you get a deep wave two, um, light wave four. Really, really normal. OK, so one, two, three, four. And there's our fifth in at the moment. OK, so when you see the fifth in like this, OK, and that for me was losing this 1000, uh, 11,500 level okay so i will show you quickly how i sculpt this like really really nicely to be honest like i've had this 11,500 level on my chart for a long time and you can see here how we came down we literally hit it to the tick we hit it to the tick and we got a very nice bounce at this point okay but why was i not expecting this like a, a, a major sign is that you actually still held the one hour downtrend so you can just see how this continued to downtrend like you, you obviously hit and it was a nice bounce, but in the end, you, you couldn't even take any resistances. Um, and the one hour trend is still very much low, lower, high, lower, low, lower, high, and now another lower, low. So you have to be very careful. The four hour is just an, a straight up going down at the moment. OK, obviously. So um, you'd want to have a little bit of caution here. And this is like why I tweeted out earlier. I believe I said this on a tweet saying, um, you know, patience is really, really key. Uh, patience is really, really key at these sort of levels. Um, oh, this was a funny one. Um, so well, this was obviously yesterday as we were coming up to this. If you look at the the, the greed index at the bottom bottom left here, we were on a 95 reading. This is the highest I have ever seen this reading. OK, so yesterday this was extreme greed, a 95 reading out of the 100 on the greed index. That was yesterday. Extreme, extreme levels of greed. And that is like a real be careful sign. When you see that much greed in the market, you have to be so careful um so yeah <laughs> this is what happens when when you get extreme greed you get pullbacks you get over leveraged longs and they just get wiped out like you have to be really careful don't you like let's be honest so um uh, where was I? OK, so yeah, now we've obviously seen our five waves up. Where are we looking for the pullbacks? OK, so naturally my eyes are drawn towards the 382 here. OK, so this is obviously fit from low to high. You can see the 382 sat at 9.8. OK, we have lost the uh, 236. 382 would be your next stop. OK, you obviously have supports on the way down here. So it's not like you can just go straight there. And again, in trading, there's there's no certainties. Technical analysis is not is not a science. It's not there's no guarantee. <laughs> so you have to view this as, as sort of probabilities. What's the most likely to happen? Okay, we can see our monthly level here at ten three, which also coincides really nicely with this old range that we did have going on here. Okay, with that old range. So you can see we're like when you come back into the range, this is like now back testing really nicely. So you're finding support for that EQ right there. Um, but you can just see 
yeah, that's another reason why we're bouncing there because that was the eco of this old range. Okay, you back test ranges and you bounce. So um, yeah, obviously we've got ten three, the the uh, three eight two here, and you know you've got some still key support levels. So it's not like um, I'll just warn you that a lot of people will be turning extremely bearish at this. Um, you know, I'm not gonna lie. I imagine you'll start seeing really bearish posts coming out, and this is the problem with Twitter. And people just need to really block the news, block whatever sort of bad advice that people give on um, Twitter because there's so much of it. There's so much of it. Big accounts, small accounts, you know, across the board, there's just so much real bad information that's given out and you just have to be really careful and it's this sort of thing if you start see, you'll start to see real bearish things come out real bullish things people talking and talking in certainties and there is no certainties in the market there really isn't so just be aware of that and just stick to technical analysis and in the truest form look at the chart what's the most probable and trade off of that like that's literally you know what i can say for you so yeah i would say i'd be looking down at the 382 okay uh obviously your your standard for wave two if this is all a wave one now your standard for wave two is between the 0 0.5 and the 618 so keep that in mind but um you don't have to get that much of a heavy retracement you could get a shallow wave two and that's obviously between the 236 and 382 so um yeah obviously you want to be a little bit patient obviously if you ask if you're in if you got stopped out and you're now in tether like you don't have to jump into a position straight away you can give this a day you can give this time to sort itself out and give you a little bit more data on the charts there's no need to rush into a position patience is sometimes really really key in trading or it really is so you know you don't have to rush into a position right now you know just wait wait a little bit you know um so yeah that's all I would say. Obviously, when I oh, I did tweet this out again, actually, I was saying like, you know, this really is looking for, um, yeah, this is really for like day trading. So I can't remember. Yeah. So here we go. So trading right now uh, is for day traders only, in my honest opinion, like swing trading with this volatility is not recommended. And what I mean by this is like when you're sat at these levels, you don't need to go into your swing trades straight away. You don't need to be entering into swing trades at these levels for, for obviously where I'm referring to longs uh, because you have that opportunity of breaking down. And, and, you know, this is for day traders. These levels that I'm trading are for day traders. OK, so, yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's everything that I wanted to cover in this video. Um, pretty sure. And this was a, oh, you know, yeah, I will mention this. So this is like a thing for me. And and this is like a, you know, a pretty big trader. This is, this guy's got um, uh, 36,000 followers. So a very big account. And I followed this guy. And I used to respect him, but this is like, this is, this guy is like, this is your captain speaking. Our next stop will be 17K. Enjoy the ride. Um, all I want to say OK, is stay humble in the markets. If you start getting overconfident like this or just speaking in certainty. So as I wrote here, there are no certainties in the market. It's all about probabilities and your trading edge. OK, overconfidence is not a trait one should have in trading. Stay humble or the market will humble you. Um, so this is what I mean by like, just be careful what you read on Twitter, because I'm sure many people got influenced by this. And it's just when you start speaking in certainties of this is going to happen, um, yeah, the market will humble you and and, and it will take your money. So, um, you know, you just got to be very careful with what you read on Twitter uh, because, yeah, there's some crazy information. And obviously, you know, you have people who are influenced by that and could potentially lose money. So it's just real careful, like really what you have to say. But um, yeah, uh, I, that's everything that I wanted to cover in this video. That's every Yeah, pretty sure that is everything. So um, yeah, obviously looking at those fib levels for the way down. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll give you an update and uh, yeah, keep you informed. Oh, yeah, I was going to mention alts. Uh, I will really, really quickly give a, a minute on alts. Obviously, yeah, we've seen some real nice bounces on alts across the board. Obviously, the main ones obviously being your BNB and your uh, IEOs. OK, obviously, Matic, One, Fair, etc. So you're seeing here, where's BNB? So BNB. Really nice bounce off of that weekly. So you can see this comes down to the weekly. Yeah, it's a, you know, strong bounce. Literally one level on the chart all you need. Uh, one, like another one that we're seeing here. One with a really, really strong bounce. This was in this downwards channel. Come to the bottom of that channel and it's literally, you know, breaking up from the, the bottom of that channel touch. Uh, Matic, another one. Uh, really, really strong move up today. Um, but, you know, it's it's like, you know, the the IEO is really, you know, seller again. Look at them, like 27, you know, most of them up 30%. So, um yeah, some decent alt moves uh, across the board, really. It's, um, yeah, alts, <laughs> alts, when Bitcoin was moving up, alts were destroyed. Bitcoin moves down, alts do really well. <laughs> that's, um, yeah, no, that's enjoyable. But um, anyway, I'm going to wrap up the video there, giving you all those levels that I was uh, keen on. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next video. So thank you, everybody, so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this, please uh, give me a like. It would be much appreciated. Give me a share uh, with your friends. If, if you have found this helpful and you think they may too, uh, really appreciate it. 
And for engagement, I would, I, you know, I'll say what, uh, you know, I'm, I'm interested. Like, honestly, I am. So what are you looking to trade this? Okay, because obviously you have two options. Okay, you do have, you have the extreme bearish option uh, that this is all uh, just a downtrend. And we've hit the 618 and now we're coming for new lows. So are you under a real bearish scenario right now? Look at that upper wick. Oof. That's a very ugly weekly, not going to lie. But, um, you know, are you under the scenario that this is coming for new lows? Uh, or are you still expecting this is an uptrend and it will continue? Give me your ideas. Give me your thoughts. Very interested to, you know, get a, get a uh, see the opinions of my uh, followers. Very interested in that. So, yeah, please give me a comment on how are you looking at this chart? Are you under the bullish uh, bias or viewpoint of this chart? Or are you looking at this as a bearish chart now? Uh, very interested to see that. So please give me a comment of, of how you're looking to trade this or what you expect to happen in the coming weeks. And I will read through all those comments. Um, so yeah, looking forward to that. Hope you've had a brilliant day. And uh, yeah, enjoy this trading environment. The volatility is amazing. <laughs> so thank you again. And uh, yeah, have a brilliant, brilliant day. Cheers. Thank you.